What's up, Coach Dana here, have a little fun. <laughs> Coach Scott. Uh, quick little video here, we're gonna run um, as for the resistance uh, phases as part of the warm up. Um, you're gonna be doing your uh, foam rolling and we're gonna move into dynamic uh, stretching, which is gonna address as well as agility, coordination, balance, gonna get the heart going a bit. So Coach Scott here is gonna uh, talk us through um, the, uh, the exercises that uh, during the dynamic Warm up, right? Yeah, dynamic stretching. And the purpose is purpose. Yeah, with just a full body warm up, get everything moving. I think as cyclists, we tend to be in one position, so this is an opportunity to get some twisting movements and just get the full body warmed up and engage your core. And after these movements, you should be able to go into uh, your strength training and plyometrics, feeling nice and warm and ready to go, and uh, you know, much lower risk for injury. Cool. How many exercises? Approximately uh, five. And sets and reps typically? Uh, typically, I find an uh, area that's about. Time. Uh, typical time is about five minutes. Uh, Good, very, not too long. Yeah, very quick. Okay. Um, typically, you can use a, the gym if you're you know, like the basketball court if your gym has one, or maybe the uh, the spin cycle room, depending. Um, I use a parking lot or outside my house. I use an area that's about uh, ten yards or ten meters wide. Uh, as far as I go, each exercise I go down one way and then back the other, and that, that completes that exercise. Okay. Um, Cool. So again, this is after you foam rolled. You got some good, uh, you know, all the muscles kind of been rolled out. And go ahead, Scott. Go into the first exercise. Okay. Yeah. So the first exercise that I typically do is uh, marching. Um, I'll do it coming at you, so you can see the movement, and then I'll also do it uh, from the side. So, so basically, it's just uh, you're easing into these movements. You, you know, it's nice and slow. This is a warm up. Uh, we just want to have nice form and just walk forward. Left arm comes up with the right knee. Alternate up on the toe and then come from the side. Yeah, you know, so it'll be a bridge this way. But typically, I'd go 10 yards down and 10 yards back for each exercise. Just come from the side up on the toe. Uh, with these, you know, you want to feel a stretch in your lats. You can see this get a nice movement, get your hips and hip flexors, uh, your glutes, everything activated there. That's the first exercise. As far as rest in between, I typically don't take any rest, but if you need a, you know, a few seconds on each end, you know, go ahead and do that, that's fine. And it will take, uh, you've done those before, a little bit to get used to, coordination of getting them mixed up, so if you're initially finding it a little hard, that's normal, just continue on, work on a little focus, and yeah. get it. It's all it's more about the movement, really. Uh, the next one is, uh, so high knees, and again, this is just to, to warm up, so you're not trying to go fast or anything, we're just trying to get the body moving. Uh, so, you know, run, you know, head down here 10 meters, and just nice and easy. You get to the end, I'm usually, you know, I feel a little tired after this, a little winded, so I take a second, and I'll run head back the other way. And also, I just wanted to, yeah, when you're doing that, think about your knees, that they're traveling straight up. You know, if you're if they're going out like that, we will want to get that connection going of the core, everything in line, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah cool. it's, it's nice to relax. Uh, the next one, uh, there's probably another term for it, but I call it heel butt. Uh, same thing. Um, you know, it's just about getting the blood flowing and ease into this, and this will really stretch the quads nicely. And it's just you kick yourself in the butt. Come back the other way. Same thing that Dan talks about is the alignment. I'm also trying to land on my heels as well as on my toes. Uh, I'm trying to get just everything warmed up and moving. Um, so then uh, the next exercise is uh, twisting. It's the, the karaoke. Uh, basically, arms out to the side, and we're gonna cross back and forth. And this is nice because you'll feel everything twisting. And you wanna keep your arms as straight as possible, but it's just more about the movement. So back the other way. Okay. You'll feel that in your hips and your spine. Uh, and then the, the last one would be the low walk, the dreaded low walk. Lots of groaning in this one, but this is a good one. I'll do it coming at you and then also to the side. Um, so this is nice and slow and you want to take a step forward, bring your elbow inside your knee, keeping your knee in alignment. You don't want to be doing this. And then you take another step forward Come down. Staying low, huh? Yeah, you're staying low. Uh, some people refer to it as the Spider-Man walk. And then coming from the side, nice and low. 
one right there, one right there. So Scott has good uh, mobility here, flexibility. Some of you may not be able to go down as far, which is totally fine, but getting, you know, again, just be uh, patient with it. The important thing, you're getting across here, the core is engaged, and all the muscles are getting fired. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much the, uh, the exercise that I'll do, the run through, uh, and then should be nice and uh, breathing a little bit hard, nice and warm, maybe even light sweat. Yeah, so the um, butt kicks, high knees, so we're using uh, using a certain space, like 10 meters or something. You're going yeah. back and forth. Yep. You go back and forth once, or once and twice, or how many times back and forth for each exercise? Each exercise is once across, once back. That's it. So really pretty quick here. Nothing super long. Yep. Um, you're welcome to do another one back and forth. I'd say if you feel like the, the heart's not going yet, or you've been struggling on the just to get the coordination down. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, dynamic uh, stretching for the resistance uh, phase.